Today I'm going to show you how you can set up your Wix FAQ page to provide quick answers to common customer questions. What's up you guys, thanks for tuning in with your boy Nino and I got a tutorial for you guys today on how to set up a Wix FAQ page in the Wix editor for your website. So let's get started. All right, so what I first did here was I actually went to menus and pages. I came over here to add a page and I just added a page, which is this FAQ. All right, so once I have my FAQ page ready, all I wanna do here is actually space this out a little bit, but then I wanna go all the way over to add, okay? You can find it numerous ways, but all I can say is that I went down to more and then I scrolled all the way down to the bottom and I saw Wix FAQ. Now, if you don't see that, you can actually browse the app market or we can actually go through the Add Apps app uh, market and actually find it here, which we can type in FAQ. And once we go ahead and click search, FAQ pops up and then we just add it straight to our site. Boom. Wix automatically detects that it's actually on this page that we want to put it on. And so that's what we do. We put it right here on here. So now you only have two things here. You have the settings and the help. Notorious help by Wix. Uh, thank you Wix for helping us out with that. But in this tutorial, I'm going to actually just talk a little bit more about the settings here. So what you can do here is you can actually look at your layouts, settings, designs, and then if you need any else, uh, any other help, just click here to support. Also, you have this mobile view here so that you can actually see what it looks like in a mobile view just to make sure that it is compatible for your mobile device. Once you go to layouts, you can actually choose if you want this layout to be expanded, a classic or a strip and expanded is like the list of questions that is displayed on your site and visitors must click on the question in order to view its answer. And then for the classic, that actually just shows the answer to it right there. And then in strips, the questions are organized in horizontal bands. The visitor must click on the question to view the answer. And I think I like the strip a lot better. This is definitely a new newest feature in the FAQs. So I'm just giving you guys a little heads up. Uh, also, you can adjust the ad, app height and the spacing. OK, I want it to be compact. All right, and then I want to put it on the right line just to make it look weird. Okay, that looks weird. I'm, I'm going to put it back. All right, so then you can actually go to your settings and change the title. If you want, you can actually add your own title coming from uh, the, the Wix editor, and then you can use your own title there, or you can actually just use your own title here. All right, in the search bar, you can actually put looking for something or if you don't want anything to show up when people click on this search bar, then you could actually put that away. All right. So if you don't want it, nothing to show up here for the search bar, you can just click that away. I mean, sometimes you have a lot of FAQs, sometimes you don't. All right. So I'm just going to keep it here and I'm just going to keep everything standard. Uh, these are the answers here. You can show answers one at a time or you can always show the first answer so that, you know, people can come here and they say, oh, I see the answer. So, I mean, I'm pretty much straight. All right, so I will just leave that off. Also, you can actually get people to uh, share this information on Facebook or Twitter. Now, here comes the good part, the design. So I like the design here and I like the app background to actually be zero. Uh, I don't want any of my app background to clash with anything that I got going on on my page. So I just kept that that way. OK, now, if you want to check out the questions and answers and actually uh, dock it up to the design that you want, then you can do it that way. But I think this design actually uh, is flowing with my actual site here. So I'm going to keep it the same. But this is where you can see all of the information here to design it the right way that you want according to your website. Now, if you click on main and you actually go into manage questions, this is where you can actually set up your questions. So in each one, they have a category list here that will be on your left hand side. Then you have clear demo data. 
if you want this information to be clear. Now in this point of the tutorial, I don't want this to be cleared because I want this to show up on my page. Now, if you want to add a question, you can go up here to add a question. You can actually click on a question in order to edit it. And so this will pop up your question and answer here. You can also add images here or you can add video here. If you want to save what you got, you guys can just click this save button here. Or if you think you're done, then you can actually click, click this check mark. Whenever you make any changes, this X mark will actually come up. Okay, and then you can actually click X if you want to cancel the changes that you have done. All right, so if you're done with that, you could just press that. If you want to rearrange or reorder these questions here, you can actually go here to this uh, long dots of lines here and actually just move it according to what position you want it to be in. Okay, the three dots here are actually here to help you whether you want to delete the actual question and answer itself, or if you want to just duplicate the question and answer. All right, now I heavily advise people to actually use the add category because you can definitely do so much with categories, okay? Now, if I add a category here and I say that this is demo data, okay, then it's gonna put all four questions into demo data. Now, what if I say, I want to separate it based upon like title, like anything that is talking about a title. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put title. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on this category here and then I'm going to drag this thing over to my title. Or what I can do is click my three dots and move it to my title category. All right. Boom, now I have my title category. Now that I'm done and that changes have been saved, I can click done and then it updates accordingly. Now here we can see that we have two categories here for people to see out of your FAQ list, okay? Now you can make this as big as you want, but it's gonna resize itself back down once you click publish, all right? So if we wanna see how this looks and see how this functions, we could just head on over to preview. All right, and then we see that we have demo data and we're right on there right now as it's being, as it is clicked. And we can actually look at each and every FAQ here and see the information here. Also, we can actually share this via Facebook or Twitter. Now, if you guys have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Definitely give it a shot. And thank you so much for watching. So if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right guys, ciao.